In this video, we're going to talk about the page builders that come with Bridge. If you've ever wondered about which page builder you should use or whether a particular demo can be edited with your favorite page builder, then hopefully this video will provide answers. So Bridge comes with the Elementor and the WordPress Bakery page builders. It also comes with over 400 demo sites that you can import into your own site. And each one of these demo sites was built using one particular page builder. So they were built using either Elementor or using WordPress Bakery. The only exception to that as of now is the original Bridge demo. The original demo comes in two different versions. One demo was built using Elementor and the other demo was built using WordPress Bakery. Now I'm going to navigate to my site's backend and I'm going to go to Bridge Dashboard Import. So when you're importing demo content, if you would like to import a demo that was built using Elementor, you can click on the Elementor tab here. And all of these demos were built using Elementor. The demos that were not listed here, they were built using WordPress Bakery. As of now, there are more demos that were built using WordPress Bakery than with Elementor, but we plan on adding more Elementor demos in the future. So if you're not sure about which page builder a particular demo is using, you can click on that demo. And in the pop-up window, under the required plugins, you will see either WordPress Bakery Visual Composer or Elementor listed. So this way you will know which page builder is required for that demo. So the demos do not come in two different versions for the two page builders. Whichever page builder you see listed here, that's the page builder that you will need to use in order to edit the imported content. On my site here, I have imported the construction company demo. And this demo was built using WordPress Bakery. So let's go ahead and open up a page. So this is what editing with WordPress Bakery looks like. We can see these short codes on the page. I can simply edit the short codes and edit the fields here in order to change the content and appearance of it on my page. Now let's see what your page might look like if you import a Elementor demo. And this is what editing a page with Elementor looks like. So Elementor is a front-end editor. You can simply drag the widgets onto your page and you will immediately see the changes. So if you've imported a demo that was built using Elementor, then you must use Elementor in order to edit the imported content. You cannot use WordPress Bakery to edit that demo and vice versa. If you imported a WordPress Bakery demo, then you must use the WordPress Bakery page builder in order to edit the imported content. Now I'm going to navigate to plugins. We recommend deactivating the page builder that you're not using. So on my site now, I'm using Elementor, so I'm going to go ahead and deactivate WordPress Bakery. We've been asked whether it's possible to use both page builders to edit your site. And in theory, you could activate both page builders and build some pages using Elementor and build other pages using WordPress Bakery. But we do not recommend doing that because that could negatively impact the performance of your site. So we recommend choosing only one page builder and deactivating the one that you're not using. We've also been asked which page builder we recommend, which page builder is better. And we do not recommend one page builder over the other. It's all a matter of personal preference. So if you're used to working with Elementor, then you might want to import a Elementor demo and stick to that page builder. 
As for what the different page builders can offer, you should know that all the features and elements that come with Bridge, they will be available to you regardless of which page builder you're using. As an example, the original Bridge demo, it actually comes as two different demos. It comes in the Elementor version and in the WordPress Bakery version. And if you open up these two demos side by side, you will notice that they look exactly the same. So both of these plugins are powerful and versatile, and you can use them to build these beautiful page layouts. On a final note, we've also been asked about Elementor Pro. Bridge comes with the free version of Elementor. It doesn't include Elementor Pro. However, in addition to the basic Elementor widgets, you will also have access to many different bridge widgets. You will be able to edit your site's header and footer. Any part of your site can be edited with the basic Elementor version. So it's not necessary for you to purchase Elementor Pro. All of our demo sites that were built using Elementor, they were built using the free version. So Elementor Pro is in no way necessary if you want to have the look of our demo sites. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions about the page builders that come with Bridge, you can feel free to let us know in the comment section. If you would like to be notified about upcoming videos, you can subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.